hey everybody welcome back to my channel today I wanted to do a tag video I've never done one of these on my channel so this will be a first but this is this is an old tag I mean it's nothing new I don't know who started it but I just wanted to share with you the products that are my absolute favorites and that I would repurchase if I lost my makeup or the tag is called if my makeup disappeared or something like that um, but this video can be a couple of things in one video is another reason why I wanted to film it this could be a makeup starter kit it could be like makeup I would take if I traveled um, just a couple different things in one so but a couple of these products I have repurchased and I've been using almost all of them but one for a little while for a good amount of time so let's go ahead and get started a lot of these products if you've watched my videos you've seen me talk them talk about them uh, that's one thing some of this is going to be kind of redundant if you've watched any of my videos because I've talked about all of these products before but I just wanted to throw this video out there to let you know that this is like my hardcore favorites these products I use on a daily almost a daily basis I use all of these products this is kind of like my everyday face <laughs> so um, let's just go ahead and get started the first thing I want to talk about is the Lorac Pro okay if I lost all of my makeup or whatever this would be the eyeshadows that I would go and get immediately um, this palette is awesome mattes shimmers on the bottom um natural looks neutral looks smoky looks dramatic looks um this palette can do anything a lot of people are going to say the naked palette though the naked palette does not even compare to this palette in my opinion this is so much more versatile and uh when i i just got my naked palette actually in december this past December I when I look at that palette um like I want to use my pro palette I just I don't know and I wanted that palette for so long and it's a nice palette but the pro palette is right now has it is my absolute favorite love it okay the one product that I actually just started using and I've never talked about it it's an eyeliner this is the Maybelline uh, Eye Studio Eyeliner. Gel Eyeliner, I guess. This is in brown, okay? It's just in a little pot like this. And if you've watched any of my videos, you know, for eyeliner, I'm not a big eyeliner fan. I would just take, like, a darker eyeshadow, like in the Pro Palette, like Espresso or Black or something like that, and just use that as my eyeliner. So... I think the reason that I really like this is because I can apply it with an, a small angled brush just like I would apply an eyeshadow as my eyeliner and I have much more control with this. Uh, I think that's why I really like it. I do have it on today. I mean, you can't really see it, but I just do a thin line and I've really been enjoying this. Pencil eyeliners are like... I don't know I just don't know if I haven't found that one that I love yet but I do love this um, I don't wear eyeliner every single day but I would want to have some eyeliner if all of my makeup disappeared so <laughs> this right now is what I would get for my eyeliner okay let's talk about uh, some under eye concealers I had to choose two on this one I'm not really sure which one I would pick it is my CoverGirl Ready Set Gorgeous Concealer and my Urban Decay Naked Skin Concealer. Okay, I've been using both of these for a while. I've been using the CoverGirl for longer. But the reason I like both of these is because they do not settle into my fine lines too terribly bad. Um, there's very minimal creasing with these concealers and that is why I love these. Um, Neither one of these are um, really 
like full full coverage so if you have really dark circles um, I don't think that either one of these would fully cover those up for you but I don't have two terribly dark circles um, you know sometimes they're worse than others but both of these are really good for not creasing. Of course, there's a huge price difference in these two, so I don't know which one I would get. I would probably just run out and get the CoverGirl one really quick, but I would want to get this one um, as well. Now, when I repurchase this, this is my first two with this, I will get a different shade because this is in fair neutral. Um, this is a little bit too light for me. Like, if you like the extremely highlighted under eye look which I don't uh, ever do that this is the fair neutral is good for that but I don't apply much of this at all I just do a small amount of it but two really awesome concealers right there another concealer for the face um, MAC Pro Longwear for me I love this stuff and this is my first tube of this and I got this back in January so it's August now I use this almost every day you know and um, so I, this is like down to here maybe it's kind of it's been tipped over so it's hard to tell right now but I will be repurchasing this for sure this is NC 25 I will probably get this in NC 20 this is too dark for me I don't know why the girl at Mac told me that this was a match which I mean it's not too terribly dark but it is a little bit too dark one thing that I love about this concealer it has a pump on it but what I love about it I do have enlarged pores right here on the sides of my nose um, you can put this over your pores and I swear it minimizes them it is crazy um, really has good coverage i use this also as an eye primer so it's kind of like a double duty product for me uh, it's really sticky so it's great for your eye primer and yeah this is this is great um much um hype over this product and for me it really uh works really well okay let's go let's stay with the face products blush this was kind of, I guess, a harder one for me to pick just one, but it's the Benefit Rockateur. I've talked about this, just in my July favorites, actually. It's just a great, natural, everyday, um, looks good on a lot of different skin tones. Now, when you first buy this, there's like this overspray of glitter, and you're like, oh my gosh, but that comes off, and it just has a great sheen to it, um. And another reason I picked this one is because, for me, it does have the sheen, so I don't necessarily need to wear a highlighter. For me, highlighter is not a, a necessary thing to use every single day. I know for some people it is, but for me, it's like, if I have a glowy blush, I'm fine without a highlighter. And this one has a really pretty sheen to it. So, yes, love this. Wear it all the time. Uh, face foundation oh man I love this L'Oreal Pro Matte I have this on right now um, all I've been wearing for the past month solid is this I've had this for a couple of months now when it first came out I got it pretty much when it first came out but my shade is in 102 perfect match for me great coverage lasts really well um i love the finish on it it says pro matte i don't really know what that means it's like not matte but not you know doobie um it's just a perfect finish i love this um drugstore it's like 12 bucks it comes in a squeezy tube now as far as foundations go, like high-end foundations, I just do not have any, really. Because they're stupid expensive and I don't want to um, spend the money on them. I'm not saying there's nothing out there better than this. But for me, this is just amazing. I love this. If you have, uh, if you have dry skin, I don't know that this... 
would work for you but I still just think because the finish is so it's not matte and it's not dewy I think a lot of people could wear this so if you're looking for a good foundation try this one out love 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 without hesitation this would be the one that I would go get okay face products staying with the face um setting powders there's a couple that from the drugstore that I don't know which one I would get I would probably just get both of them uh, one of their price range is different I mean Rimmel stay matte it's like six bucks and then the L'Oreal infallible pro matte that goes with the foundation you know it's like twelve dollars but I think these are pretty I mean a setting powder for me it's like I don't know I've never tried any high-end ones I don't guess but I don't know that it's like oh wow a setting powder has completely made my foundation last longer but <laughs> um as you can see this one the Rimmel this is in 020 nude beige I've loved this one it's great six bucks love it uh, the L'Oreal one this is in the lightest shade porcelain um, I really like this one too this is what I have been wearing for the past several weeks now I haven't been wearing my Rimmel one very much but with this foundation I think that I mean it just whatever setting powder you use it's just gonna last really well either way but these are the two setting powders that I really do enjoy and I use them all the time okay for bronzer I do not contour so I would not like go out and buy a contouring palette <laughs> I would just get a bronzer and the one right now that I use the most is from Physicians Formula the bronze booster um, this is in shade light to medium and again that's another reason I like it it's not too dark it's just it's just a really good bronzer um, it's no there's no shimmer in it it's matte and it's just I've used this a ton and I feel like there's um, I mean I'm not even close to hitting paint or anything like that but this is a great bronzer if you have light skin okay and just two more products four well three let's do eyes um eyebrows this is the bare minerals frame and define pencil in natural i think it's called universal light yeah there's two of these universal dark and universal light okay this has a spoolie on the end of it which is nice i really like that and this is a thin, I've had four of these, like this is my fourth one. <laughs> uh, there's a really thin, tiny little um, applicator. My eyebrows are something I'm never happy with. Um, I'm constantly, there's more products that I want to try. Um, but as far as right now, in the past several months, it's been my Bare Minerals Frame and Define. I love this one. Um, it's only like 15 bucks, so it's not too terribly bad. Mascara, hands down, Maybelline Lash Sensational Mascara. This, this is an empty one actually. I've gone through, I don't know how many of these. It's a great mascara. I don't even like Maybelline mascaras. Like, this is not, it's got the curve to it. And, um, got, you know, longer bristles here, shorter bristles there. This lifts my eyebrows, my eyelashes up really well, and it doesn't clump, it doesn't flake, it's not too wet of a formula, it's not too dry of a formula, it's not too thick, um, not too thin, I just, yeah, love, that's what I do have on today as well, love this mascara, um, last thing, lips something that I I love lip products and the one that I picked is Buxom White Russian this is my second one um, I have this on today over the L'Oreal Lilac lip pencil in number 209 it's just a great nude pinky nude gloss 
and the reason that I picked this is because this is pretty on its own and it's also really pretty layered over almost any shade of lipstick it this is just a great layering gloss so hands down lip product would be Bucks and White Russian love the formula these taste good they're like um, they do have that tingling sen sensation so if you don't like that um, you won't like these glosses but yeah just got it on my nose um, awesome love it um, and that is it guys this is like my all time favorites until something else better comes along <laughs> um but yeah these products there's so much stuff out there in the makeup world this is like a really this was another way for me to really just narrow it down for you guys and say these are in my opinion what is worth the money um because you can just spend a crap ton of money and have a bunch of junk you don't like but in my opinion, what works for me is all these. And I hope you found this helpful. And leave me what you guys uh, have love and have been using for a long time. Or maybe you just found it. Um, but just let me know what you guys love and is your hardcore favorites or holy grail favorites. That's what a lot of people say on here. Um, but I hope you guys have a good week and I will talk to y'all later. Bye.